Why is it so dark? There I am. Is that good? Is that good? Or is that good? Let's check it. Hello loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm so glad to have you back. Um, as you can tell, I'm really relaxed in my uh, loungewear tonight. I really didn't feel like leaving what I had on so I put my hair in a ponytail and we're rolling with this, okay? <laughs> Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a video that is about moi. Um, I'm sure you're all super excited. Um, I just decided to want to film this video and just talk about me because <laughs> who doesn't want to learn about me? Um, no, but seriously, I just really wanted to let y'all get to know me a little bit better and who I am. So, with further ado, we're going to jump in this video. I have some questions on my phone that I am going to go off of and we're going to roll with it. See you in a few. <laughs> this is absurd and ridiculous. I can't believe I'm filming without makeup on, but you know. <sighs> okay, okay, let's get it together. Okay guys, okay. So today I'm going to be answering a few questions about me and I'm going to be talking uh, about a few of my favorite products here recently and we're going to start with the products, of course. I just got back from the beach and this is my first video before the beach and I got, go back to school August 22nd. Not really ready. I'm very anxious to go back to school, but we gotta do it. We gotta get through it. We gotta make the move off, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with some of my favorite new products that I recently bought and uh, I'm going to talk about them for a minute. Okay, the first is this Huda Electric Obsession. Um, I actually really like this for the size. Like, as you can tell, it fits in the palm of my hand, and I have very small hands. Um, I really like the color ranges. However, I will say that this red is not my favorite. My favorite red is out the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. Um, sorry, Huda, but the red isn't just my pigment. But... Um, I do have good things to say for every other shade in this small palette. It's very compact. It has a unique color range for those who want um, electricity on their eyes. Um, so yeah, it's a good travel electric palette. Um, the Urban Decay one still, you can't beat. I just you just can't beat it okay so the second palette I have here today is the Anastasia Prism I, let's just talk about this real quick okay so I bought this from someone because she just had a bunch of makeup and wanted to get rid of it because she's never used it it wasn't her colors and just some other stuff so I bought this one the Huda Beauty and two Kylie cosmetic palettes and um, I don't know why I got the subculture one over this one but I love this one this um shade called throne which is a nice teal shade oh baby okay moving on next two palettes i have are the kylie cosmetic palettes i haven't used them yet but i'm really anxious to this purple one guys this purple one it speaks to me i just hope it it's really good i just hope so but i haven't used it so i can't really speak much on it as well as the um, honey blue one? Is that what this one's called? Honey? Honey blue? The blue palette? Yeah. These color, this, these two right here just... <sighs> Hi baby. Yeah baby. The thing I'm going to talk about is this gem. Okay, I got this and I was like, oh it's a drug, drugstore setting spray. It's not going to be a hill of a beans. You know? Mmm. -hmm. Drew Barrymore has her shit together. Let me tell you. Holy shit. I really like this one. I got the matte one because normally I, I, I get the dewy one and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. So I got the matte one, but I probably will get the dewy one. However, the only thing I dislike, and I'm not really sure why my skin was doing it, but when I spray it and it sits, it leaves some white dots which blend out on my makeup, which is perfectly fine. Like I don't care as long as it's doing my job. I don't care what it does. And guys, oh, it's not a Victoria's Secret perfume. This smells like a high-end perfume that I've used before. 
like um, Juicy Couture or Marc Jacobs Daisy. This one. This one smells like Marc Jacobs Daisy. I'm not kidding. That's what it does. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that one's it. Also, y'all remember me talking about my little beauty blender from Morphe. Um, really, really great. Love it. Will continue to buy that other than a beauty blender or a $20 blue beauty blender. I think that, oh, I got one more. So I have been wanting to try this. I'm not really sure why I haven't tried it, but they've honestly been out of my shade. I ended up getting the light beige it's on the front i was like looking all over for it like a dumbass um but it's on the front and i got light beige because i have a tan right now and i really like this i see me using this as my new drugstore brand of makeup and foundation it's cruelty free for those people that are vegans it's um it's um sealed by PETA. so just to let you know about that and um i was thinking that i had more but i'm telling we are now going to jump into some questions after we did a little product review. Okay, shall we start on these questions? My first question is, what is your zodiac or horoscope? And if you think it fits your personality. Okay, so I was born in March. So my, my zodiac sign is an Aries, which is a ram. Aries is awesome, okay? Um, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, and that pretty much is how those born under the sign see themselves first i do i do i do agree with that 100 percent. and aries are leaders of the pack first in line to get things going aries are also a bundle of energy yeah i i'll just skip um i do believe that my zodiac matches my personality pretty spot on however we all have personality personalities mixed in with other zodiac signs but mine's pretty spot on okay i'm very energetic um let's see second question a book i love water for elephants it's great read it the movie's terrible but read the book you'll get chills i also really love aragon just for Paolini. i'm sorry if i'm butchering that but those are my favorite books those are my favorite series i have read all of them twice um so water for elephants and the aragon series bingo and i really really miss reading guardians of the Gahul. i love those i used to really love books but when i got in college it just made reading uh, very hard to do how do i hope my future might be um i don't really like living in the future but i do like planning ahead um, I like living for the present because it's less stressful and then when I wake up I get in my mind that it's a brand new day and it's time to start over and we can plan a better future for the next day um, but in the future I hope to be a marine biologist or um, and let's say let's not say or that's pessimistic a little bit optimistic I really want to be a marine biologist and a underwater photographer I also really hope that makeup takes off for me and skincare with my esthetician. I would really, somewhere you'd like to move or visit. Okay, I would like to move to Oregon. Oregon is a great state. I would love to move to Oregon. Um, a place that I would love to visit is Australia. I really wanna go scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Five weird things that you like. The smell of gasoline, the smell of elephant, the smell of horses, puppy breath, and puppy feet one thing you're excited for one thing i'm excited for a lot of things i'm actually really excited to spend my weekend with adam again that's really what i'm excited for today um my fears um this one's a big one and it really hits hard home but i have a big fear of failing failing like this extreme fear of failing like extreme um i also have a fear of heights so those are my only two really big fears that I'm like, can't conquer right now. What you ate today? Lord. Okay, I, I came home and had, um, I was in a rush. So I, I, so I had some gluten-free toast with pepino cheese. Terrible for me, I know. And then tonight my mom cooked something and I went and ate it. I don't know what it was. It was some kind of gluten-free healthy burrito thing. I don't know. What you wore today, my work clothes. Things you want to say to an ex. This one is what everybody needs to 
do. Okay. Everyone needs to do this. Get it off your chest, okay? The first thing I want to say to my ex is thank you. Thank you for being in my life and thank you for exiting my life because I love who I am now and I wouldn't have got here unless you exited my life and cheated on me or I left you because I am so happy who I'm with right now and I believe things happen for a reason and doors open and close for a reason and I am here and I'm living my best life and I am super happy and proud of who I am and what I'm doing now. Five pet peeves. I am weird about pet peeves, but I'll give you some fives. My biggest one is when things are on the floor. I do not like seeing things on the floor. If they're not put away or they're not in a basket or they're not on something, I freak out. And like I will start cleaning, like mass cleaning. Like I don't know what it is about things sitting on the floor that triggers like my OCD, but it triggers and I'm just like a cleaning fool. Um, another pet peeve is when people get pets and then give them away and then get another pet. I'm sure it, I don't even want to dwell on that one. That one speaks for itself. Three, third pet peeve. Um, when people chew their food with their mouth open. Um, your opinion about your body and how comfortable you are with it. Um, I believe this is a big one for us girls. Um, us girls struggle a lot with our identities and who we are and how we feel about ourselves. And um, I have struggled with this for a long time, okay? I was in high school and I weighed 120 pounds and I thought I was fat. It just never was little enough. I mean, I never was fat. I was actually, I look better now and I feel better about myself now than I did back then. Um, but I do like cake and I do like hamburger and I do like pizza. So, um, I'm happy with who I am. I'm still working on body positivity, but I am happy and I do love myself and I am comfortable with myself and I will rock a bikini if I need to. Um, however, I always am looking to improve and make myself a better person and also um, just kind of make myself healthier. So that's what I'm doing right now. So girls, just love yourself for who you are and just know that you're beautiful and accept yourself for yourself and love yourself for yourself. And I promise it will go a long way. Like sometimes I just gotta sit in my medit or I gotta sit in my room and I have to meditate and I have to tell myself how pretty I am. I have to look in the mirror and I have to tell myself physically that I am beautiful and that I am worth everything. So just whatever gets you positive thinking and makes you optimistic. Um, and like I said, this hasn't happened overnight. This has happened literally for years, like like to me getting to this point in my life. It also really helps when you have positive people in your life that push you up rather than bring you down and um, constructive criticism. Do you remember anyone you hated 10 years ago? I remember every single one of them and I remember everyone that picked on me. So if you picked on me, I still remember you, but I love you anyway. I love you and I forgive you, but if kids are watching this, be careful who you're mean to and be nice to everybody because niceness goes a long way mm -hmm. and rudeness and being mean to people does not and they will remember you forever because I remember you. If today would be the end of the world, what would you do? I would probably like sit outside of my dogs and just soak in life for one last time and soak in this beautiful earth that God provided us with. Do you break the rules because of something or someone you care about? Absolutely. I will bend over backwards for my friends and family. If you die now, would you have any regrets? Absolutely not. Regrets or negativity. What decade do you feel you most belong in? The 90s. That's easy. I dress like the 90s. I love the 90s. Or the 80s. 90s or 80s are my time. What is your favorite quality about your best friend? <laughs> um, I guess her ability to make art would be number one. Like her artist artistic views made us super close, I feel like. Another thing is um, just her compassion for everything and like how she's just beautiful inside and out. 
I think that's one of the qualities. Who are you closest to you and your family? Why? Um, this one's actually really hard. I'm actually really close to my grandmother and my grandfather. However, my grandfather passed away last year with Alzheimer's. So, um, it's been really hard living like without him, but I do have my grandmother still alive and she actually lives with me. So I'm really close to her and my mom now. When you were younger, what did you think you were going to be when you grew up? A veterinarian, I'm still kind of on that path, but I changed it because I don't want to be that much in debt and I'd rather be out in the environment with animals. If you could identify with one fictional character from a book, show, show or movie, who it would be? Octavia from The 100. Oh my gosh, she's a badass. Is your favorite attribute about yourself physical or non-physical? Non-physical. I think it's my ability to bounce back and have like a very strong outgoing non-emotional personality. Do you easily accept compliments or do you hate compliments? Everyone should love compliments. So yes, I do love compliments. What's one thing that's happened to you in your life that made you feel weak? I think it's when um, this one boy broke my heart and shattered it. Um, I was pretty hurt for a while because um, I actually really did care for him for a long time and I really felt backstabbed rather than like rejected. I felt like I was stabbed in the back. So it took me a while to get over that. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Like physical? Like my nose. I don't really care for my nose. Um, where's your favorite place to escape to? My favorite place would be anywhere with my dogs. Who is the one person in this world that knows you best? Um, my mother. My mother knows me inside and out because she birthed me. I was literally inside her, so she knows me best. But aside from my mother, I would have to say Adam, which is my boyfriend of three years. He pretty knows me. He knows me very well, actually. He knows me better than myself. Okay, guys, I think I am done answering some questions about myself that I wrote down. So if you would like anything else, you can comment them to me. I'm going to go edit this. Or... Okay. I'm probably going to just upload this and edit this tomorrow because I got tired. Like for some reason, like all this lavender just hit me. Um, so thank you for watching. Sorry if it was rambling and sorry if you weren't interested. Sorry if it's not makeup. So, um, thinking about going to like TJ Maxx and buying some foundation and makeup from there and seeing how it works and making a fun tutorial. Um, so I can either do that or I can make Adam sit down and film with me and do my makeup. So you just let me know what you would like to see and I'll see you soon. Bye.